I'm so excited Hello, happy Sunday. tonight. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Let me just go live really quickly. Give me one second. Right. I'm so excited Hello, happy Sunday. tonight. Happy Sunday. All right. Let me just put it in the group. Give me one second. Um, how you how was you guys weekend good really good pretty good all right okay perfect all right, so let me show you all again to this real quick. All right, it was a lot of money to be made this week. Let me share my screen. Let me share my face first. Hi, guys. How's it going? Um, okay. All right, so first things first. How was you guys' week? Okay, it was so much money to be made. I literally, it was some beautiful setups. Um, let me share my screen. All right, so I'm gonna go over pretty much a couple of pairs just because I know Malik went over gold with you guys last week. Um, I ended up popping in a gold buy at the end of the week, but I want to go over where we are and then um, I want to go over GU. Y'all saw that I put the, I traded GJ for the majority of the first part of the week um, strictly because we had a lot of consolidation on GU. And remember, I told you guys, like we are at that four hour support level. So what's the most important thing? Or you guys tell me when we come near our foundation levels, what's the most critical thing that we have to understand? What's happening in our foundation? Consolidation. Level? Consolidation. Consolidation. Yes. All right. Consolidation and then four hour structure. Somebody explained to me the difference between four hour structure and our smaller structure. It just the, the minus major it takes longer to play out. It takes way longer to play out. All right. Um, it takes more momentum to uh, break through uh, a trend line on a four hour versus one hour. Yes. So the main thing I want you guys to understand when you are trading is very important that you guys understand where you are in the market. So the very first assignment of the course where you guys have the foundation of the charts, that assignment is so crucial and important to understanding not only structure. Well, really, you don't understand structure in that assignment, but you understand where you are in totality of the market. So when we come near those foundation levels, I mean, I know you said that like price is going to consolidate there, but what's so critical in understanding? Anybody? Anybody? It takes longer for the move to happen. It takes it way, takes way move to, have, to happen. So I am going to share my screen and we're going to go over where we are. I'm gonna go over GJ first. GJ was the easiest just because, I mean, strictly, I talked about last week. I was literally just looking for this to close this gap. I actually entered it over here. I was looking for this to close this gap. So um, once price hit, like, it, it pushed up a little bit, pulled back down. Once it hit kind of giving us like a trend line bounce structure, I entered here. And then later on in the week, we had a break and recess of this structure. But again, we are still consolidating. Does everybody understand that? So like when I put, I put in the group, I think it was midweek. Um, I'm not sure the exact day, but I put in the group. Mm, let me look. Uh, when was this? I think it was, what was September 13th? Was that Tuesday? Or Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Okay, so I had put that buy that I had taken in there, but I put in there to make sure you guys understand where we are. And until we have any breakaways, we should be in and out of the market. So in and out means, and as I mentioned also, I put in there that like, if you are a scalper or you are, can you guys see my charts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. If you if you are not a scalper or if you are not an intraday trader, that's perfectly fine. Just understand that your moves like it's going to take a while for those play those like main plays to play out in regards to structure. Last week, I emphasized this because I understood where we were. So remember last week when I literally stopped sharing like this, and then I talked to y'all like, okay, make sure you have your breaks and retests because we are in such a critical area that like, I don't want anybody to lose money just because you're not understanding where you are in totality. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, sure back. All right. So again, these moves, all these moves should have been in and out. And again, they should have been off of, wait, where was my, when did I enter this? Hold on. Let me pull up the, the TJ. I know I had put my bars on it, but I don't think I actually entered it until right here. Can somebody pull up in a group? Um, I want to go over the exact entry because, oh yeah, so it was the third one. It was the third one because of like this little structure pushing down right here. That second part gave me confirmation for that and that that um, closure had not yet happened yet for this. So it was just one of like the ones where I had kind of waited on. I was sitting on my hands really Sunday and Monday because I wanted to kind of see or gain confirmation. So remember last week, we talked a lot about confirmations um in these trades so I wanted to kind of wait for some more confirmation so I had ended up getting in like right here because of that I want to go to GU and talk about GU a little bit so like last week we talked about where we were all right and then we talked about the majority let me go to a different let's go to Pepperstone Broker just so you guys can see the main area. So y'all remember when I highlighted the big consolidation area that we were in last week? Yes. Right. Okay, so we talked yeah, about- so, uh, All right, so tell me where we are. Retesting uh, the structure. Yes, Support. but- Yes, but it's so critical because even where we are right here, when we talked about the GU, we talked about breaking and retouching that trend line, but I talked about what was below that trend line that was there. The area of support, right? The support, but also, sorry guys, I know we're on four hours, so it's going to be jumbled on top of each other, but also- Oh, foundation level. Yes, our foundation level. So we ended up we broke in retest, but again, this foundation level was here. So we ended up testing it. And then I entered this later on in week over here. But remember last week when I talked about being careful with this trade, it was because when I took things to the four hour structure and we looked at it from a overall time frame perspective, this was the so or this was the previous resistance that price is now retesting as support. Does everybody see that? Yes. Do you guys, you guys, under, do you guys understand, understand that with, that with, I hear my echo. Can we, somebody put theirs on mute? Okay, great. Um, yeah, I said that we are at this previous resistance, now area being support. So literally all of this, the thing about these four hour structures, right? Is that when price is consolidating, we could still make money and make our trades and make our movements. So I don't want anybody to think you can't trade in this, but you have to have to understand where you are because if not, as soon as you go positive, you're gonna go negative. You, you don't, as soon as you go negative, you're gonna go, I mean, as soon as you interrupt buy you might go negative and vice versa depending on where you enter because these these areas are so critical does that make sense yes they're done yes. okay so where it was anybody able to capitalize off these movements this week yes yeah okay good um, but I still want people to understand where we are because we're still in this area for this week. So do you guys see, let me highlight it with like a rectangle. 
this whole area here, price can be pushing up and down throughout. That's something that I need you guys to understand, this whole area. So we could either, we could go down a little bit more and drop to this negative 61.8, or we could push up. It's like so critical that you have to take this area step by step. Remember last week, I broke down so many times, trading step by step is super important for where we are in the market. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Because we're not in these areas where it's like, okay, we have a clear break in retail. We could just buy up to here or sell up to here because of where we are. All right. And remember, I talked about last week, I talked about the interest rates um, being heightened again, which caused the dollar to get a little bit stronger, which goes in alignment with like GU falling, the dollar being stronger will cause, remember the base of the quote, the quote, US dollar as the DSY is rising, the US dollar is dropping. Does that make sense? Now we now did we did. have some um, divergence on the DSY last week that price broke and retested out of. So remember last week I talked about, we had divergence on the DXY, but price broke and retested. Monday, it literally hit this. It tested it as support of previous resistance structure over here. This tested as support on a FIB. It was a negative 27 and then price continued higher. Now, because this was so impulsive, this is forming a four hour structure. All right. So I'm, I'm trying to see, like, I'm telling you guys right now, I do not have the direct answer because I need more data and price to play out, but I'm leaning towards. Now, again, please have confirmation with this because I don't want anybody getting in any trade because I'm telling you, I don't have the confirmation right now for this structure, but the way it is setting up, okay, it seems as though this might give us one more push up, but I want to verify first. I want to make sure first. If this gives us one, more, well, first off, I could see this. Okay, again, hold on. Let me back up. We are at a fib on this, right? So again, we know Fibonacci is a tool that's used to measure the retrace of a counter trend based on the current trend in the market. This current trend, based off of this structure, when we go to a higher time frame, I could see this pushing up one more time. However, Prior to that happening, I want to see if we have like a little bit of a pullback here before going higher, okay? Now, again, we are in critical areas, okay? So what does that translate to? With GU, we could push, pull back a little bit to go down some more. Again, we're on this foundation level. I know that this is like a lot of price all on here. So like I haven't really taken, did y'all see that GU sell that I, I posted on my Instagram? I didn't post it on, um, on Telegram, but this was the G, did y'all see the GU sell that I had taken this week? That was pretty. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. I had taken it off of this structure here though. Um, just after I saw like, price, even though we had weak exhaustion right here and we came up, we stopped on this level here. We started to have weak exhaustion pushing down. I took it based off of this structure strictly because once I saw this level, like this, this immediate minor level of support being broken, it was obvious that this foundation level was going to be hit. And that's when I alerted you guys in a group, like, okay, make sure you guys understand like that foundation that's level that's below. So I literally just had it pushing down to the um trend line that was here well foundation level slash trend line that was here so i took profit already i did not stay in it for it to pull back and continue lower because again as i mentioned multiple times we are in critical areas so i'm not i'm not marrying a position right now does that make sense nobody, nobody should be marrying and marrying. holding super long but even then understanding your intraday trades right Understanding our intraday trades, these are still good amount of pips to take advantage of. This trade was 88 pips. Okay. But in the grand scheme of structure, that's what I want y'all to understand. Now, that correlating, right? That DXY possibly pushing down to pull higher correlates to this possibly pulling back to go a little bit lower. And even with gold Malik's trade 
So remember last week, he talked about this hop into this negative 27. I'm going to delete a higher time frame fib so that, well, I'm going to delete this fib structure. Uh, let me just, let me hide this for a second. All right, so this was the previous negative 61.8 that touched this trend line here, all right? Now, this structure that he was talking about last week, he was talking about right last week, this was still consolidating all through here. It gave a minor structure break and retest. Hold on, put this on auto so we can go into price. It gave this minor structure break and retest here. I did not hop in for the sale because again, I was only trading GU at the beginning. I mean, GJ at the beginning of the week, but it did give us some divergence and then a break and retest for a buy later on in the week. All right. And that even shows you, you guys know, usually I'm done trading by like Tuesday because I was taking so many shorter movements, even though the shorter movements were again, I mean, the, the, the last sale that I took on GU that happened, I think Friday, Thursday. I don't know. That's that made me hit my goal for the week. But y'all even know I don't really trade past Tuesday, Wednesday, but because I was taking so many shorter movements throughout the week, like I was analyzing literally all throughout last week. So after I had this break and retest, I only carried it up to here, though, because of this previous level of support. This ended up extending beyond this. Now, again, in addition or in alignment with the DXY, right? If the DXY pulls back a little bit to drop, I'm looking at, now again, I'm, well, let me go to higher time frames so you can see what I'm saying. I'm hesitant on all of these because I do not have confirmation yet, but I want to show you guys what I'm looking at so you guys are aware so you could trade it accordingly. So here... I'm looking to see if this is going to push higher to this trend line, right? Um, so let's say we draw a minor structure fit to here. I'm going to mute this one out so you guys can see. A minor structure fit to here. Now, the only reason I'm hesitant with that is because the higher trend line coming from the top, is literally where, oh, sorry, 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 guys, sorry. The higher trend line coming from this top here, do y'all see how like it's literally where this wicked Austin is? Y'all see that? So it's kind of like 50-50, so I don't want you guys to trade it until you see the confirmation, but I'm teaching you guys so that when the confirmation comes, you guys are able to execute it. I don't want to give it out right now because I don't want nobody sitting in draw down for this week right? But where we are, let me go back out to this higher time frame so you can see. If you look left, do you see how every time price came here, we had a push down all through here? Do y'all see where we are? Yeah. yeah okay. So if you see a little bit of, let's see, Again, this pushing here. If you see a lot of momentum, look for this to push here before falling back down. All right. Um, and I'm just looking at this as a possibility. Again, a possibility. So I want you guys to like trade with caution this week. There are some beautiful moves that are happening, but again, we are in these consolidation ranges. So you have to be careful. If you see momentum where this trend line is, look for this to push here, okay? But again, this main trend line that we're on, is this making sense? Yeah. 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 Okay. The completion, we have this negative 27 here. Then what well, we did touch this negative 38. We have this negative 27 here, TP that was hit. Then we had an impulse. Now, again, the thing about it, what do you guys know about your structures, right? The thing about it is that we don't have a higher high. 
That's why this is so iffy. Does that make sense? If we have a higher high of this structure, of the structure we could say we for say. sure, okay, we're going to this next level. But because we literally are at this same level of resistance, this high was not broken. It's like, okay, we need to kind of see how price is going to form. Does that make sense? Got it. Yeah. 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 Because technically it's still down. Yes. Yes. And we have WIC exhaustion. Right. We have WIC exhaustion. We're on a trend line. We have WIC exhaustion and we're on a trend line. This trend line that you see from the top. Would you put a minor fib anywhere on that impulse? Hold on one second. Could you guys hear me? Yes. yes. No, no, we couldn't hear you. What you were saying. Oh, no. Yeah, we can hear you. Michael told me to make sure the microphone in my house. I mean, at my mouth. So I'm like, okay, let me make sure. Just fine. Okay. But y'all heard everything that I said previously, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Just really loud and clear. Okay, perfect. So you see this range right here? You see this? Yeah. Here? Make sure that that doesn't happen here. That's the part that I'm like, it's so like touchy. It's like, like we see it. Okay, this was even this, this purple zone that I have coming through here that was support tested as resistance. Is it gonna test it one more time as resistance? Maybe, maybe not. It's kind of like up in the air for sure because the higher time frame trend line we are, we're at right now. But then we have this trend line that's coming from above right here that's really a smaller time frame because it's, it's not as many touches. It's a more um, minute trend line here. It could touch it one more time. So it's just like, I'm kind of like, uh, but also even on this gold structure, we're sitting in where we have this dotted weekly level coming through here. Does that make sense? Not trying to confuse you guys. I'm just really trying to teach you guys because in the market, that's the thing about it. Sometimes it's not always crystal clear. Sometimes we have our crystal clear trades where we're like, okay, one plus one equals two. This is about to do this. And then sometimes we really have to sit on our hands because a lot of, or a, all of our price and structure hasn't necessarily played out to give us like, okay, this is going to happen right now. Like one, two, three, A, B, C, and let's go. Make sense? Just Quick question yeah. about the gold trade. Um, if you go back to the gold chart, I had a question about that. Mm -hmm. The trend line that you have on the left over there, um, yeah, would you extend that out where you're? Um, yeah, the way well, yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Well, I I'm not because this is this is the structure that I was looking for. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you know how in y'all's course you have the trend line break and retest of structure, and then you have your trend line break and retest when you're practicing your fibs for entries. Yes. Yeah. This isn't a structure trend line. This is like a entry trend line that I was getting for the pullback. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm I would not extend this line. I'm only extending my structure lines. Okay. That makes got sense? It. Yeah, got, got it. Did yes. that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Question. No, Jen, I, I have, have a question. question on gold. Somebody said that didn't make sense. It was me, Janisha. Okay, Janisha, hold on before before I want to make sure everybody got this. So hold on one second to the other people okay. that have questions about other things. Um, okay. for instance, right? You see here on this entire like trend that's going down, we have a trend line that's at the top of this. You can extend this all day long. So this, if this is up here, as this price keeps continuing, I would extend this down. However, if I'm getting on an entry from a, let's even draw this structure fib here. So let me put the fib that was on, uh, hold on. Okay, let's put this fib on. I'm going to blank some stuff out so it's not confusing. All right, so let's put this fib on. 
uh, entry for this structure, this structure entry would have been here, right? For this pullback of this fib structure. I'm not gonna extend this line anywhere because I'm literally only drawing this trend line for entry for the pullback to get the entry for the continuation of the fib. Did that make sense? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. Yes. yeah that makes sense. Yes. 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 So everybody uh, understand? Everybody understand? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I understand. Okay. Somebody got to mute that. Somebody got to mute that. I figure out what your echoes. Oh, before I forget, I need everybody to send up a special prayer for you guys' classmate, Malcolm. He was in a car accident this weekend, unfortunately. So everybody pray for him um, and his recovery. Okay. So everybody send a prayer for him. I wanted to say that while it was on my mind before I forgot, because y'all know when I start talking, I can completely go. Okay, so God, please bless Michael. I mean, I'm sorry. Please bless Malcolm. Put a hedge of protection over him, God. Please let him have a speedy and quick recovery. And just then we pray, amen. Okay. Um, all right, we can get back to the questions. Amen. Okay, so please mute your mic. <laughs> What's your name? Joy. Hey, Joy. I appreciate the uh, public service announcement. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Um, hey. On, on the goal, would you, the, I know the FIB went down to 25, um, 27 um, to the take profit one. Would you have extended it or is it possible or no? If you, you, you mute it, you hit it, sorry. Okay, let me unhide it. As more structure plays out, it's possible, but I want to see that structure play out because this it is a smaller time frame trend um fib structure. So I could extend it, but I want to see the structure play out more. So I make sure I'm in the correct structure because we are in a consolidated area. Okay. Now overall. Like if we go to our main structure, we can all see like our structure as self. No different than that time that we went over GU and we knew the overall was a buy. But as you guys know, like these time frames can take time to actually play out. Um. So immediately, no, I would keep this where it is until I have something else. Because right now we're done with this structure. Now the, the question is, are we going to have another structure that comes beyond this point for this? Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. No worries. Janisha. Yes. Thanks uh, for showing your screen. I think I'm clear now on that entry point that you were talking about for that trend line that the guy had asked. That's perfectly clear for me now. But I did have a question um, about entries. Uh -huh. using uh, the confluences. So one of the things that I've been trying to be consistent about is uh -huh. um, using my break and retest. Cause I think the last time we spoke, I was telling you that I didn't have enough trend lines compared to how Malcolm had a bunch of trend line. I think it was Malcolm. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm using the trend line break and retest a lot more, but what I'm finding is that I don't always see a break and retest um, when a trade plays out. Does that make sense? So you're saying before the continuation, before like you're you're not seeing your entry as play as price is forming, right? No, no, no. After it forms, like if so, one of my, my one of my issues is that I always miss my opportunity to enter the market, and I I was thinking it was because I didn't have enough trend lines and I wasn't seeing the entry points. Mm -hmm. Um, so now I'm using the trend lines and I'm still missing my entries because I don't see the clear break and retest um, on my charts. So I was talking to my husband about it because we we both do this. And um, he was saying that, on, for example, on one of my charts, there were zones. And he was like, well, you could have used this zone as an entry point. And I was like, well, no, <laughs> we we supposed to use the break and retest. I'm trying to stay consistent with what you teach. So can you clarify that for us and, and let me know if I'm making sense or not? 
Yeah. So your husband isn't entirely incorrect. As you get more experience, you can 100% use your zones as your breaks and retests. Um, I just teach the trend line method just because it's more consistent and easier to see. Um, however, mm -hmm. if you aren't getting it right when it hits the trend line, I would say you have to practice more just because uh -huh. they're there. Like they're there. Mm -hmm. It's just more so training your eye to make sure you see it as it's forming. So maybe even sometimes putting your um your screen on replay so you can like see it as it's forming. So you can kind of get accustomed mm -hmm. to see what you need to look for for those mm -hmm. entries. So let's go back to like the gold, um the gold position, or let's go back to like over here. All right. So for instance, this structure, right? The mm -hmm. only reason that I entered for this buy right here, okay? The only reason was because I had this divergence. I was at a negative 27 and I had a break and retest. Right. Okay. But again, even when I took this, I was, just like I said in the group, like you should be in and out until you have like, until we like break some of these areas just because we are in these consolidated ranges. So like when mm -hmm. I entered, even you see it went way beyond where my exit point was, but I literally exited just because I had this previous support all over here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that makes um, sense. sometimes maybe just going into replay and seeing how like price forms when it's on these areas to kind of help you out, you can mm -hmm. do that too. Okay. Or That's helpful. Thank that. you. No problem or even like this GJ one here. Mm -hmm. um, exhaustion and momentum really help a lot also. But some of these is like, when you see it, like as long as you have your confirmations, okay? Mm -hmm. That's very important. As long as you have your confirmations, they're gonna play out. Mm -hmm. But you have to have multiple confluences to line up. So you guys know, I never just look at, hey, this is a negative 61.8. So I'm just going to enter just because it's a negative 61.8. Or, hey, this is divergence. And I'm just going to enter the market right here because I have divergence. Or this is the break and retest. I'm going to enter here because I have a break and retest, but it's in the middle of structure and nothing else is lining up with it. Like I have to have multiple lineups to give me the reason as to why I'm getting in this position or in mm -hmm. a trade. Make sense? Yeah, that totally makes sense. And and I am, I'm seeing everything. I, I have my confluences. I'll see divergence. I have my FIB level set and, and everything is right. And price plays out like I think it's going to play out. But mm -hmm. I always miss my entry points. So I don't know if I'm not waking up all the time. Or... You, um, do you have your charts in front of you right now? I do not. No? No. But I can send, maybe if I um, add like to the Facebook group. Are you on a group. computer? We are. I'm on my husband's computer. I'll get in the trade and view on your phone. I don't know my password. Um, okay, well, figure that out in like the next 10 minutes. And then I'm going to have you share your screen so I can help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to just go to the next question. I'm going to circle back to you. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Um, hey, Mr. Smith. Nice to meet you. I love the fact that you guys tag team over here. <laughs> thank you so much. It's nice to meet you over the phone as well. <laughs> All right. Okay, Miss Kara. Hi, Jessica. Hi. I, I'm looking at gold and I... I market my charts every week, and I think for one thing that maybe I'm going too far back or doing too much analyzing on higher time frames that uh -huh. look lower, but they're squeezed in. Can I share my gold chart? Uh, sure. I get your opinion. Let's see. Oh, I don't think it's allowing us to share. For whatever reason, it's not allowing me to. 
que más caer. Ok, let me try to go. Ok. Can you see it? Yes. Ok. Um, <clears throat> so, when I'm doing my like uh, top down analysis, you know, I start at the monthly, but like here looking at the four hour, I see like the uptrend and I put these little dots just so I can see structure better. Mm -hmm. And I have a trend line coming up and that's probably more of a weekly. My pink is weekly, but I see where it was a break and retest. Mm -hmm. So it didn't break weekly structure, but when it started coming down, it was a break and retest of this trend line. Should mm -hmm. I not even be looking at trend lines on this higher level? Well, yeah, like, I mean, in regards to a break and retest, no, because you, you're not looking to enter on that high of a time frame. But like we said, we like, I mean, in regards to your thought process of structure is accurate. Like I said, like, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, overall, we could see this structure now forming to go down, mm -hmm. but who knows how long it's going to take. So we're not really concentrating on that in our immediate where we are in the market. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not, uh, like relevant. Yeah. It's not relevant. I mean, all structure is relevant. Don't get me wrong. Cause you have to understand where you are in totality to understand where you're going. Right. But on your day trading, like you getting to the money, you're not about to just hop in for a sale to carry a low. No, like you right. have to, you will lose your entire account doing it. So when I, when I see this hour, like purple is my hour I mean daily and like four hour and I try to just mark it to see structure again so when we're here I like I use this trend line and see where we are for the hour to see I guess to wait to see if it would break this trend line um because if it broke this trend line I guess if it came above this area it would be breaking that downward structure right like the hourly structure this one right here from here to here yeah. So did you hear anything that I talked about when I was just talking about gold? I I did. And I'm, I'm just trying to get my mind to see the analysis similar to yours and see why I'm off. And I'm just wondering, I guess that's why I'm off is I'm just going maybe too far back and I should just yeah, zoom so, in. To see. So no. So you're not, I mean, technically you're not off because I just talked about that trend line. So that's what I was referencing when I was I'm going to stop sharing yours and go back to mine for a second. So okay. that's what I was just referencing when I talked about where we were. So you see that trend line that you have? That same one that you have is literally this blue trend line that I have right here, right? So you're not off. But um, if you go back to what I was saying, I was saying that we're sitting here right now and we have to see where structure is going to take us next. So it's not when you say like, am I right or not? That's what I was saying, like, we have to see what structure is doing. However, you're only looking at, like when you just showed me your four hour structure, mm -hmm. you're only looking at the highs and the low of the structure and that's not gonna get you paid. Remember, like you see how I have a fib on this structure. Do you see how literally this was a stopping point previously for this smaller structure. And then this led to this negative 27. You have to make sure you're seeing the structures outside of just this big affection of price. And yeah. then in with, within all of that, I mean, really just go back and practice your second assignment because even within all of that, you have all of these fibs to take what what just happened to my negative 61.8 fit well, I had one over there too but you have fibs all through here that you have to account for also like these are a whole bunch of fibs in structure right does that make sense so you can't be so um bird's eye view that you aren't making money for what's right in front of your fit because remember how gold pays out too like you have a lot of money to take advantage of Right. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So like, I hear your question. You basically said like, when price comes here, do you have to see? That's what I was saying previously. Like, because of looking left, we have, let me just draw on here.
this entire area. Resistance, 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 support. Now resistance, resistance. Like this entire area is something that we are really sitting in that's critical. So that's the thing about the market. Like none of us control it. We just react to it. So depending on if we have like some bullish momentum or whatever here, if you didn't catch this buy from here, like you would have to see at this point, are we going to have momentum or exhaustion to lead us to the next level? Right. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Thank you. No problem. Um, but yeah, like you're only, when you're looking at your structure, you're only looking at you're only looking at here and here here and here and that's not going to get you paid at all like it's good to understand the overall but you have to see like you even see overall i have this fib here right but am i concentrating on this negative 61.8 absolutely not okay not right now, at least right. not until I have, because there's so much stuff that's happened before we even get to that point. Like even looking left where we are is so much, is so much of importance. And I don't mark up um gold all the time, which is why you don't see like, like I traded it heavily over here. Then I stopped trading it for a while. This probably is the whole time I was pregnant. I probably looked it up for somebody right here. Like, you know, the ones that I trade just because, again, every time I put a bar, that's the actual trade that I placed. Um, mm -hmm. But I more so trade or analyze for you guys and trade GU more than anything. But structure is structure, no matter what time frame or not time frame, no matter what period you're looking at. Well, okay. Thank you, okay. Jess. No worries. Um, uh, Paula? Hi, Jess. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. I have a quick question. So mm -hmm. earlier you said how for like these areas, you're in and out of the market. Mm -hmm. And I know you set alarms and I know you set like your take profits. Mm -hmm. When you're in and out like this, are you watching the market or? You no, know, I still set my alerts to let me know when I'm at a high or a low of those areas instead of, because sometimes it's just consolidated. I'm not just about to be watching bars patterns form. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying so. Um, no, I'm more so like looking at all of like, okay, where where am I? And then like, if I go to the market and I kind of start to see something form, like when I took advantage of this trade, I had drew this trend line here because when I had gone to the market, um, Malika actually texted me and was like, "Hey, keep let the group know that the the um negative twenty seven played out." or the TP had played out. And that's when I alerted you guys, hey, Malik, sell played out. And when I was looking at his uh, position, I had saw this divergence start to form and I saw that it was at negative 27 and I saw the wick start to form that was here. So then I had placed a alert on here. But again, price was just forming. So it was still like, even when it came here, right here, mm -hmm it still was just forming. So it wasn't until that alert like hit and it broke. Then I just waited for it to kind of retest that area. And then I entered. Okay. And then even with GU, the way it was forming, like I had started to see, like I had this wicked option here, but again, remember we're near this foundation level. So the, the, the key principle, even in understanding these, like when prices form it, is again, understanding where you are in the market. I told you guys a long time ago and you guys course on assignment number two that like, it's, it's like a 18 wheeler truck, right? Like a 18 wheeler vehicle. If we go to a red light, an 18 wheeler vehicle is not just going to push in the opposite direction immediately right? It's going to take forever. So that's how you're looking at these foundation levels. So if I see price came here once again, because I understand that price is going to consolidate here, I know it's going to come there again. So once I had like the break of this level that was here, the break of that level, and then price had already tested it once, it was just confirmation. Okay, we're going to come back down and keep retesting. 
And then this was the sale that I had posted on Instagram. Make sense? But that only comes with you guys learning the market because if you do not understand where you are, you will lose money, right? You have to understand where you are. Again, what's the three questions? What are, let me take this off. What are the three questions that you guys ask yourself when you are coming to the market? What's the three questions? Major, minor, and structure. Minor, break. Is a break what is of structure. structure. What is minor structure? Is a break where of structure. are you going? Yes. Where you are, what? where you're going. No. You what is major structure? What is minor structure? And is there a break of structure? That's the best way to literally identify where you are in the market. What is major structure? What is minor structure and is there a break of structure? So our major structure is literally on our consolidating. It's on a foundation level. We're consolidating in this structure. What is major structure? What is minor structure? And is there a break of structure? Okay, because it can be nerve wracking. Like I understand the learning process can be grueling. Like it's so many, well, it's really not that many rules in trading. The way I do trade, though, like I do understand that the way I trade, it is a little bit more complicated than other people. But the the preciseness is way better than any trader that I know, strictly because it's understanding structure is not a strategy. OK, I will tell you guys time and time again, I do not trade strategies. I trade structure and understanding structure, even though it's harder to make like it's harder to um, learn. And it's harder to really dive deep into and constantly grab. Once you understand it, it's like you can't unsee it. Once you learn it, you have it forever. So I just urge you guys to really practice and keep practicing your structure because structure is the market. And once you understand structure, you won't fail because we all know the market can be full of ups and downs. All right. And then also the market at any point in time, anything can happen. But if you understand structure, you're always equipped to be able to adapt. Remember, trade what you see, not what you think. We don't trade what we think. We wait until we have our 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 confirmations to execute on what we have analyzed and our analyzations is trading what we see. Does that make sense? Yes. All okay. day. 100. Yes, ma'am. Right. Um, Janisha, were you able to get your chart up yet? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing and let you share. Okay. Okay, well, let me go back. Can you guys see? Um, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So if I zoom out, this is my one hour structure here. And then we yeah, have consolidation. To, so go to um 30 minutes. Let me see some. Okay. Or even 15, either one. 15 is usually what I'm looking at. Okay. So I was going through last week just to kind of look at the areas that I was focusing on to find the break and retest and drawing trend lines and stuff out. And in several areas, I was able to find them. But then I came here, you see this first trend line that's going up in this consolidation area. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't see a clear break and retest. And then this one there here. There isn't one right there. Mm -hmm. You also don't want to make stuff for something that is not. Okay. There isn't a clean break and retest there. Okay. That's why even when I talked about GU, when I talked about even last week, like GU's really consolidating here, like there wasn't a clean break and retest up here. Okay. So it's, I mean, remember sometimes like you, you, if it's not clean, you don't take it. Got That's it. affecting your e equity. And it's not always going to be clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's the thing about the market. Like is sometimes we have those, picture perfect pretty beautiful 
traits to take it advantage of and then sometimes it's not going to be as pretty and then you you just have to sit on your hands until you have like a confluence for a better entry if that makes sense yeah am i wrong for dragging that trend because usually if it doesn't break the level i try to drag it over is that wrong um until it breaks the level or no well it just depends on if you're looking at a structure trend line or a um or a a fib trend line so janisha open your screen up and then zoom to the left some for me or no yeah yeah the other side or is there a way that you can i don't know why does her screen look small to you guys or is it just me it's not it looks pretty large to me um i can see why you would say that but if she hit her uh okay post auto the list if she hit her list she takes their list off okay press auto take a list there's like panels at the top and the bottom like a like a right there uh where right here the the blue line the blue right there yeah okay okay Thank you. Okay. And then zoom to the left some. No, to the, or the left of the charts. Yeah. The left of structure. All right. So. Um, I thought I hit auto. Hold on. Let me hit it again. Okay. Yeah. These are all. Um, Let me go to my chart real quick. Let me see. If I have any of these structure, yeah, because I don't even have the only trend lines that I have on GU mm-hmm. are the ones that let me see. Um, I'm gonna share my or I'll just tell you where it is. I have a trend line. The last main entry that I took on GU mm-hmm. before I had a lot of consolidation. I took an entry at Tuesday, August 29th. It was for a buy. Um, go to that area. Let me see. I wish you're mine, but I want you to learn on yours. So I don't want to. Okay. You said Tuesday. August 29th. 29th. So yeah, around there, I had entered that area for a buy off of the break and recess. Let me see them. Um, why does yours look different from mine? Hold on, I be feeling like that too, Jess. <laughs> I swear, I'd be like, why does yours look so different from mine? Yeah. No, it's the same. You had a minor structure trend line from that, um, that last lower high. If you move your cursor to the left and go up where the big wick is. Yeah. Up, up, up. Just there. No, no, down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Right that's- there. And then put your trend line across to the next um, high, and then there's a break and retest there. Oh yeah, that's what I had. So I had. Um, Hi. I'm gonna share my screen real quick, Janice. Okay. Okay. This one, this is what he's talking about. So where I had it on the majority of this price right here structure. So you just had yours aligned all the way at the top but remember as price forms you're adjusting your trend lines mm. so you want to go with the majority of price so this was the last like major buy that I took advantage of based off of this structure here okay you see that mm-hmm. um and then this previous sale break and retest for this i have a few through here but when you ask in regards to like the entries of it, mm-hmm. um, I would say like literally just put your, put your, um, what's it called? Put your computer in screen, like not screen before in replay mode. So you can, just so you're not fearful. All right. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you guys, as these prices are forming, right? It's going to look like price is selling hard when it's giving you that retest does everybody understand the psychology of that like does everybody know that yeah then we should go over say that again please it's gonna gonna be forceful okay when it's giving you a retest of structure i don't want you guys to be afraid when it's literally 
giving you your retest of your structure because price is going to look like it's aggressive in a direction and then start to form off of that structure. Did that make sense? Yeah. That made sense? Yes. Yes, I think so, yes. Yeah, right before it starts to wick. And it wicks out, yeah. Can you show, can you show a visual? You said, can Sorry. I show Can you show an example of what you're saying? Uh, sure. So let's just use this. So if we replay. It's happening right now on EU. So if I replay, right? Now this hasn't reached this, reached this. But if I replay this and. It'd be like a wig on a higher time frame. Yeah, it's like a wick on a higher time frame, but as structures forming, it looks as though price is going to push through this. Does that make sense? But that's what I mean by understanding you guys' structure. So because I have these previous wicks and then on a higher time frame, I'm wicking in structure. This is where you're executing, but it's it's while you're in it, it's looking aggressive, but you have to look at your previous, like you see all of these wicks right here, they're context clues for price, right? But the structure that price is currently in has to finish, right? And then you have alignments of these really. So like, let's put this A to B, this hits the negative 27, that negative 27, even though I didn't have this one here, but that negative 27 literally being the TP for this minor structure. Do y'all see that? Yep. So the minor structures have to finish before the main structures that you're looking to trade play out. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Okay. Um. So just, I, I, I'm saying that because I don't want anybody to be scared when you're like placing it. Because I feel like sometimes maybe some people don't place it because you're scared. Like while it's forming, it might look like really aggressive as it's taking place. But that's, I mean, that's the nature of the game. Like, does everybody understand that trading is mind control? Yes. Okay, so the psychology is the most important part. Trading is 100% mind control. Like, it's it's literally there to F with your brain. Yeah, I feel like you be having the right direction and then, like, <laughs> you miss the trade sometimes because it's, like, the mind. Like, it took me a minute to relax. Yeah, but that's, I mean, that's, everybody has to go through that process though. And that's just a normal part of the journey. Like, but that's really everything in life. Like no matter what you do in the world, even outside of trading, there will be some form of temporary adversary, adversity that you're going to have to come in contact with before you're successful at it in anything. Nobody just hops up and starts a business and it's extremely it's successful in that business when they first start. Thanks. Yes, I have a question. Yes. In general, um what how do you know to exit um a trade at a zone over a TP? I've been having trouble with that. You always want to, well, it depends on if you're on minor or major. If you are on minor structure, you always want to enter. I mean, if you're on minor structure, you could carry it to the TP of that FIB level. If you're on major structure, you know that that's going to take a while to play out. So you want to carry it to whatever you see that's next. Any next possible level of rejection, you want to carry it to. And you want to exit there because of the volatility like th this is this is the stuff that you have to um when i like when i just talked about the thought process in trading and even when you're entering the market how price is going to be aggressive and you're executing at those like really price it's like the it's kind of like reverse psychology somewhat you have to know that there is going to be volatility in the market because that is literally how I don't want to say market makers, but that's how that's that's how the market is formed. The market is formed by human behavior. Does that make sense? So when we talk about like the three forms of um freaking uh 
um, analysis, you have fundamental, you have technical, then you have sentimental. Sentimental is how people, how do people feel? That sentimental, when we talk about patterns, right? Human behavior is a pattern. I'm going a little bit deep, but it's really generally like what we're talking about right now. Human behavior is a pattern. So everything is based off of previous data, but that previous data is a pattern. And it's also formed off of market cycles, but that market cycle is literally formed based off of human data or human behavior, right? Make sense? Yes. Um, Hey, Jess. Um, she asked that question as I was looking at the trade that I pulled early. Is it is it cool if I share my screen and you see if like, because it dropped, but I'm like, it was out of zone. Uh-huh. I like, Can I share my screen and see if I should like just held it or? Yeah. Was it exit? One second. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So this one right here, I got pulled it because like it was so much like volatility right here. Uh-huh. And I just pulled it like right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh-huh. So <clears throat> should I just held that or well, I, no. hold I mean you did the safest thing possible because you didn't have confirmation beyond that point. Okay. Okay. You know what cool. I mean? So like, that's fine. As long as you understand where you are in the market. What is that? GU? Yeah, this is GU. Yeah. So that that's the trade problem. that, um, remember one of the students had asked on the last Monday call, if they should draw a trend line under that, let me go to mine. They, if they should draw a trend line under it, I had had a zone. So that confirmation was there after that zone broken retest. I'm going to share mine because mine is a little bit more marked up than yours. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I'm going to go to the current part that you talk about. So share screen. So remember, none of us control the market. So you taking it, you exiting this trade right here. This is where you exit it, right? Uh, what time frame is that? It's this 15. is a 15 minute. Mm. It was, <clears throat> no, it was like that, Um, right above that 27 on the right shoulder. Wait, where? Hold on. Here? Wait, it looks weird now. Um, yeah so yeah so to the right a little bit right here down yeah yeah where right here uh it's 3 30 just uh september 14 3 3 30 no actually 1 45 a.m september yeah. 14 september uh 23rd that's the year. Oh, yeah, 14, 14, my bad. So you you talking about just now? No. But September 14th is literally just now. You're talking about- was Thursday. This previous Thursday? Yeah. Wait, I thought you said that you exited the market up here. Because you showed no. three trend line points. The trend line is on the- or you're talking about, oh, you're talking about the lows over here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 Thursday, come September 14th at like 1 15 a.m. All right, hold on a second. Um, I don't know why it's a lag. It was a it was that huge wick that happened. It was like right after that huge wick that happened with that zone. I don't know why my computer yeah. is lagging. I don't know what's happening. Maybe because these cameras connected to it. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. I don't even see the wick, but on mine I see a wick. I can see where it is, Jess. If you scroll to the right. So, right. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, that's a good now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right okay. There. Okay. Got you. 
Okay, yeah. Um, so where was your entry? So it was at the right shoulder of that consolidation. Right here? Yeah. No, to the right, the right shoulder. Is this right here? Yeah, no, right. Is it over here? Yeah. Oh, so you're saying that you exited it right here? Yeah, right there. Um, I mean, that's fine because if you look left, I mean, that was actually where I entered. But the thing is in this trading, right? And with this, right? You didn't know at the point at which you got it, you didn't know that this was going to push beyond this level of support. So you did the safe thing, which is the yeah, best thing. Yeah. So don't beat yourself up for that. Like I do this all the time, like, because you wouldn't have wanted it to be over here. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't have wanted you to hold on to it. And then it completely went negative. Facts. So be like, be okay with where you are and what you, the decision that you made. The only reason I had entered that place right there was just my understanding of, okay, this tested the foundation level because it's a foundation level. I know it's going to stick around that for a couple of times. So I'm about to go ahead and enter this and ride it to the foundation level. Like that was my thought process on this trade. Right. But you exiting there is totally fine because Again, looking left, we had levels of support here the whole time. Okay, cool. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I exited, but then it dropped for like 90. Well, it dropped for at like 80 pips because I, I, I was like, sheesh. Yeah, but I mean, profit is profit. You yeah. didn't take a loss, you didn't take a negative, and you did what was best for you at that time. So just sit in gratitude of that. Um, and don't, don't hold on to stuff of like, like this is for everybody. Don't hold on to stuff saying like, dang, I should have stayed in as long as this and that, because you made the decision that you made because it was, it was a rightful decision to make. What if price had done this right now? Again, I entered it. I have a lot of experience in this. So remember me understanding that, okay, I am at this, like seeing this structure break here and then understanding that I'm at a, a zone, I executed it there. Does, but, that wick, does that wick not really like um, phase you at all? Like that huge wick that happened on, I think it was a news event or something? Well, the reason that it didn't was because I understood that, that, that I'm at this level of support. So price is going to range there. Remember, I'm going to go oh, back yeah. to my four hours second so you could see it but just understanding where I was you know what I'm saying usually I wouldn't take a position like that but be grateful where you were because this could have done this okay all right thank you remember none of us control the market and this is a possible cause you see what I'm saying like this could this is a possibility that really could have happened you know what I'm saying again the only reason I had entered in there was yeah. because that structure had broken and I knew price had to come to this yeah, because I'm happy because usually I be trying to hold, but whenever you say go from like place to place, I've been yeah. doing it and like it's just been blue. So I'm just I'm, Good. I'm actually happy about it because because even me when I entered it, like I said, I entered it right here and it still fell beyond that point. But I didn't have confirmation that okay, it's gonna go way beyond his line. And even when it was that, let me be honest with you guys. Like once I got to this this foundation level, I put my TP in profit because at first I thought it was only gonna go to this foundation level. Do you see what I'm saying? So I put yeah. my my um my I'm sorry, not my TP in profit. I put my stop loss in profit so that I could see like, okay, how far is price gonna go? But that that's that's normal. Like, yeah. don't don't be mad that you didn't stay in this position because again, that consolidation 100 percent could have been happening. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you. No problem. All right, you guys. So we are over time. I love you guys. Um it was a great class tonight. Okay, it was kind of like a mix of like Sunday and Monday night mix together. Um, for yeah. this week, no problem. For this week, please make sure you have your confirmations before you get in anything. We can have some big shifts, but let's wait for this consolidation to uh, finish out first. Um, again, well, I mean, really, you guys can can recap or rewatch, but again.
with the DXY and where it is. I mean, we're consolidating here. I want to see. Now, I'm not 100% sold that this is going to like go higher. Um, again, I'm not 100% sold on this, but where we are in structure, I want to see if that's a possibility. But again, I need you guys to trade like trade what you see, not what you think this week. Wait on confirmations. We have no confirmations right now of anything other than us seeing our prices and where we are. So wait on your confirmations before execution of anything, okay? Yeah. All right. And then that was that will give you your next move. Okay. Thanks, Jessica. Okay. Thank no you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you inspired tonight. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jess. All right. Bye, guys.